Hey guys, I'm Lyle. And I'm Josh. You guys know what the word scuba stands for? We're going to learn all about it today. Join us next. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. Hey, I'm Josh. Lyle and I are scuba instructors here in the Midwest. We are. We're very passionate about scuba diving. We created this channel to make you just as passionate about scuba diving. So, if you're a diver, want to learn how to dive, want to be a better diver, this is the place to come visit. So, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. I'm checking out Josh's bright red t-shirt here. He looks like a diver. Tell me about your t-shirt, Josh. Yeah, so today I've got a Blue Grotto uh, t-shirt on. Blue Grotto is a freshwater, kind of a, one of the Florida sinkholes, a uh, beautiful natural cavern that Kurt and the crew there have made down in Williston, Florida. Very cool. It is a beautiful, beautiful, warm, freshwater place to go and dive, to do training. Uh, they have a really cool turtle named Virgil. Yeah. I they have a lot of Virgil. fish you can feed. Um, they have a cave system for the cave guys um, and ladies, and it's a really cool place. Sounds like a fun place to visit. Yeah, in fact, we did some uh, we did some of our advanced open water classes down we, there. Right? We did, and then just last fall, I was down there for another uh, side map course. Cool. So it's a great place. Yeah. And what about you? I recognize I have that same shirt. Yeah, it's a little larger t-shirt. Just just so you know, uh, this is a, a top dive t-shirt. So uh, a number of years ago, we took a, a trip to uh, French Polynesia. Uh, we flew into Tahiti, we stayed in Morea, stayed in Bora Bora, and we, we were diving with Top Dive the entire time. I love this t-shirt because on the back it's got a uh, oceanic white tip shark, and we got to see some big animals on that trip, didn't we? Yeah, there were so many sharks, it was amazing. Yeah, we got in the water with some pilot whales at one point. Uh, so, we'll drop some links uh, during our shows if we chat about places that we've gone to dive. Hey, if there's places that uh, you guys would recommend to us, We'd love to know about it. Leave some comments uh, down below. So, today, we're going to introduce you to the scuba unit. Hmm. And I know that scuba thing stands for something, doesn't it? That, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I, I think we're going to learn about that. All right. What else are we going to learn about? Uh, we're also going to learn about an opportunity called a Discover Scuba Dive that a person can take without becoming certified and get in the pool and actually breathe underwater and learn and use a scuba kit. You're saying I don't have to take a certification class to actually scuba? That's right. This is It's kind of a try it before you buy it system. And once you've done it in confined water, you can even do it with an instructor in open water. All right. Well, stick around with us. All right, guys. We're back over at uh, North Iowa Scuba. Josh has some uh, pretty funky stuff on today. Here's a little pirouette there, Josh. Nice, a nice yellow tank. So, we are going to talk a little bit today about the scuba unit itself, just to give a brief introduction on its functions, what are the different parts. So, scuba, what does scuba even stand for, Josh? So, scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Okay. As opposed to being tethered to something and yeah. being fed the air from the surface, right? Yeah. So the great Jacques Cousteau was the uh, inventor of this uh, unit back in the 1940s. Uh, if you guys ever saw uh, Men of Honor, which is a movie with Robert De Niro, Cuba Gooding Jr. shows you what divers used to dive like. Now we are free of tethers and uh, we have a self-contained unit. So, three main components. What are the three main components of the scuba unit? Josh, tell us about them. Well, if you notice, this big yellow thing on my back, I have a scuba cylinder that holds my compressed gas. In this case, it's just atmospheric air. This BCD, or buoyancy control device, is the jacket that I'm wearing. It holds everything together, provides buoyancy control for me. And then, all these hoses are my regulator, and that knocks down the pressure from my cylinder to a breathable ambient pressure at the regulators. Okay. So on the back side here, the connection between the uh, tank and his regulator set is right here. This is a yoke style attachment. 
This is the first stage with the air turned on. It disperses air through the system and it allows us to breathe and have other functions. And uh, that's kind of the three main components of the, uh, the scuba unit. Um, how do we breathe out of it though? So I have this and this is my primary uh, regulator and I bite on this inner core with my lips around the silicone case. The exhaust ports are down. If I grab it like this, it's always going to go in my mouth correctly. I don't have to bite hard, just enough to hold it in my mouth. This also has a purge valve. So if I push, you hear that rush of air. And we'll talk about why and how we purge our regulator once we get into the uh, DSD or open water okay. class. And then what's this elephant hose looking thing here? So this is my low pressure inflator. It's connected with low pressure air from my first stage regulator, getting cylinder splight air. And with this gray button, if I push the button, you'll notice this jacket fills with air. You don't have to worry about popping it. As you hear, it will release. I have a butt dump over here that I can release. But so the first button adds air. This top button releases air. So that it, allows you to adjust your buoyancy. Adjust right? my buoyancy. Okay. This will also allow me to, if I need to orally inflate, if for some reason I did not have air or I had a problem with this, I can push this button. And I can orally add air. And so if I had no air left in my tank or goodness forbid, this connection fails, I can't add air mainly, or I can't add air with this valve, but I could orally inflate and provide more buoyancy. Okay. And then uh, why do you have these big pocket things down here that are hanging out? Oh, so I've got an actual pocket that we can put things in, but then I have this, this is a removable or a quick release weight pocket. This is Aqualung's Sherlock system, but essentially it's a big nylon pocket. We put our primary weights in, and then we have this nice system, and it's a nice hard plastic with a nice release buckle. And that slides in to this system. And when we slide it in, we want to hear the click. And that that allows us, if for some reason we needed to drop our weights quickly, that would allow us to do that. And so you don't have to wear a weight belt with this. You do not need to wear a weight belt with this. Oh, that's pretty convenient. All right. So yeah, that's, that's the main components of uh, this setup. And so uh, during your open water class, you get to be a lot more uh, intimately involved with your own scuba unit. All right, guys, welcome back. So you got a chance to see Josh wearing a scuba unit. Um, if you've ever been interested in scuba diving, I know that when we're diving um, in various places locally or if we're in the pool teaching, we have lots of people coming up and asking us about what are you guys doing? How does that work? How do I get involved? And so for some people, uh, Getting involved in scuba diving, they might feel like, oh, that's a huge amount of expense. I don't know if I want to spend that much money on an open water class. I don't even know if I'd like it. PADI, the Professional Association of Diving Instructors, offers a program called a DSD. And Josh is going to tell us what a DSD is all about. So a DSD is a Discover Scuba Dive. And what this entails is we put you in a confined water setting setting, generally a pool. We will put you in a scuba unit. We will get you in the water. We will take care of everything with the exception of your fun. And it will give you a way to experience what it would be like to scuba dive. Um, we do this in a safe manner, generally in a pool, uh, confined water setting. And for some people, they don't know if they want to spend the money on an open water class. They're not sure they're going to like it. Um, some people are just curious. So we have a lot of people that, before signing up for a class, they say, okay, I'd like to try and uh, discover scuba dive. We'll get them in the pool. Generally, in the first few minutes, people know, yes, this is amazing. It's going to, it's something I want to do. Or, no, I don't like it. 
Um, I've not had anyone say, no, I don't like it, but I know that happens. Uh, most shops are going to at least let you try it out. Um, generally a DSD with us is 30 minutes to an hour. It takes about two hours total because we're going to go through a uh, little booklet. We may or may not do some skills depending on if it seems like something that you are going to want to continue. Then we can go ahead and practice some of the first few skills you would learn in an open water class. Um, if you really enjoy it, especially if you're someplace warm, once you have done a confined water session, you can go and do an open water session with an instructor. And that's a way, you know, people talk about resort courses. That's a way that a lot of people on vacation get a chance to try out scuba diving. I, w I would say that uh, <clears throat> as a dive master, that was one of the things that led me to want to become an instructor. Uh, taking out uh, a brand new person uh, after they've done a confined water, discover scuba dive, taking them underwater and letting them experience the sea life and the coral. Uh, it's just uh, an eye-opening experience for those individuals. Safety has to be number one on our mind though. And as Josh said, uh, you'll be working with an instructor one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the instructor's with you the entire time. We usually make physical contact with the BCD or your tank, and we're controlling your buoyancy. Um, this is not a certification class. You're not certified to do anything at the end of a DSD, but it's a way for you to at least experience scuba and get an idea of this is something that you know you think you would uh, enjoy. Uh, but you will spend some time with an instructor learning about the safety aspects. Josh, what's the number one rule in scuba diving? Never hold your breath. That's right. Uh, it's not like Fight Club where you don't talk about Fight Club. It's never hold your breath. We will emphasize certain points to make sure that you're safe the entire time and have a fun time. Uh, that's the whole thing. Scuba diving is all about having fun and enjoying that with your friends and family. So if this sounds like something that's interesting to you, um, you could give us a call here at uh, North Iowa Scuba. If you don't live locally to us, then um, I'm going to drop a little video at the end of this to show you how to go on to patty.com and locate a dive shop close to you that will let you experience uh, some scuba diving. So I appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, we'll uh, have you uh, guys uh, see us next time. I'm Lyle. I'm Josh. Take care. as the scuba doodle showed you let's go to paddy.com p-a-d-i.com open up that main home page to patty and uh, once this opens we'll see that uh, we've got a whole list of stuff on here uh, lots of items in terms of training uh, travel gear uh, wildlife and conservation you name it it's on there so it's a great site to explore but on the main home page towards the top at the right hand side you'll see find a dive shop so we'll click on that and it will open a locator and uh, you're going to tell it whereabouts in the world you are or if your browser knows your current location or if you're planning a trip you can enter anywhere that you're going uh, worldwide that patty exists we're just going to choose current location and go ahead and have it search and you'll see it brings up a list of dive shops close to us and we're going to choose our favorite shop right here North Iowa Scuba go ahead and open that page and it lists all of the pertinent information to contact that shop their phone number email website address and also a map to find your way there so you can certainly give that or your shop of your choosing a call and ask them about a discover scuba dive experience so Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.